Sup y'all, Chris. Here to give some better late than never post fight thoughts on last night's uh, PBC doubleheader on NBC. Um, I did make a video last night after the fights, but whether it's fault of YouTube, my computer, or my own ineptitude, um, couldn't get it uploaded. Unfortunately, it was, you know, pretty much right after the fights when it was more, um, was reading Twitter, seeing everyone's feedback, when I would have thought about the fight. You know, I did pick LeBont Peterson to win the main event. And a lot of people thought he did deserve to win that fight or that he got robbed. Personally, even though I wanted him to win the fight, I predicted him to win the fight, um, I don't necessarily feel like he got robbed. And I think you can make a case for him winning the fight, obviously, but I don't think it was a robbery. Although I will say I was surprised that not one judge scored it for him. I did say in my prediction, though, I thought it was going to be a close fight, um, close decision, you know, possibly split. And, well, he had a, a draw on one scorecard. That's not exactly a split, but at least one judge saw it real close. And the other two scorecards were close for what it was. My problem was Lamont Peterson didn't so much lose this fight. I mean, he lost this fight. Let's just say this. Danny Garcia did not beat Lamont Peterson, in my opinion. Lamont Peterson beat himself. He gave this fight away in the early half of the, in the first half of the fight. Um, the things that he did successful in the latter half of this fight, which he did very successful, was the reason I thought he was going to win this fight. Pressure, body punching, um, really turned it on in the latter half of the fight, particularly from the eighth round on. But unfortunately, for the first half of the fight, for whatever reason, I don't know if he was trying to tire Danny Garcia out, which is something that the announcer had mentioned him possibly trying to do as part of his strategy. Um, he was avoiding Garcia, moving around the ring well, you know, not getting touched really much at all. However, even less... Um, of him getting hit was him hitting Garcia. He just wasn't doing anything offensively. He wasn't throwing any punches. And even if you're being effective defensively, if you're not throwing much or less than your opponent and landing less, the judges aren't going to normally favor it or um, score for you. It's just, you know, this is the way it is for the most part, unfortunately. Uh, more fortunate, it just depends on how you see the fight or how you score things. But I thought he was doing good defensively. But I just didn't do, think he was doing enough to win those rounds. It was very frustrating to watch as a fan. I'm just like, come on, man, just do a little bit more. And what was even more irritating, or I would say frustrating, in the latter half of the fight, when he did turn it on, let's say the eighth round, when he really started to take a Danny Garcia and really started to work him over, and I almost like he was going to get stoppage a couple times in this fight, um, when he might have had Garcia hurt, or he looked like he was hurting Garcia. The next round, he would take off again. He would go back to circling. You know, even in the latter few rounds, I think it was the 10th round, he was really successful, really battered Garcia. And then the 11th round, he, he went back to that other stuff he was doing earlier in the fight. And I'm just like, what are you doing, man? Why would you not continue to do what was being what you were being successful at? Granted, in the 12th round, he went back to it being aggressive, um, close, strong, really wrapped up, um, showed that he was a stronger fighter at the end of the fight. But if you're going to score by rounds, I'm not sure that he won enough rounds to win this fight. Um, I mean, obviously he didn't on the scorecard. And like I said, I think he only has himself to blame. If he had just done a little bit more in the first half of this fight, I think he could have clearly won the decision. Um, I think he showed that he's the better fighter of the two. He just, and it wasn't just that he, he ran, or not that he ran, but that he was so defensive in the half of the fight. Some of the bullshit he was doing. He was showboating and dancing and just doing stuff that I'm not used to him seeing, seeing him do. I mean, like I said, I'm a fan of this guy, and I've never seen him do that shit in fights before. I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you showboating, especially in the first half of the fight, when there's no clear indication that you're winning? Um, you're doing, you're dancing, you're shuffling your feet, when you could be punching and scoring, you know? So it was just frustrating, man. You know, I feel bad in a way that he lost the fight, but I don't feel bad, even though I am a fan. Because he cost himself to fight, you know. I would hope that he gets a rematch. But, I mean, a lot of people wanted to see Gar uh, Mauricio Herrera get a rematch against Danny Garcia. And that ain't happening. Or it hasn't happened yet. So I won't be holding my breath that Lamont's going to get a rematch anytime soon. Even though I think that the fans want to see it. Um, and it's a, it's a stronger possibility to, than Herrera getting a rematch. But, you know, if a rematch did take place, I would favor Lamont Peterson. Because I think he would be a little bit more serious, at least I would hope he would, and uh, get started offensively earlier on. But, you know, as much as I want to be outraged at the decision or, you know, say there's an out-and-out robbery, 
just so, you know, not only that would be right on my prediction, whatever about that, but just because I wanted Lamont Peterson to win this fight, um, I can't really go there, you know. I think that Garcia, you can make a case for him winning all rounds, even though Peterson, clearly the rounds that he won, he won more definitively. As for the co-main event of the night, Andy Lee versus Peter Quillen, good fight. Um, honestly, I thought Quillen had it early on. Not just when he knocked down Lee, although it was a strong knockdown, but then at the end of the first, he hurt him again. And I'm thinking, I don't know if Andy Lee's going to have enough time to recover. Um, as we went and saw, he did. And Quillen, I don't know what happened. After the first couple rounds, he just stopped being offensive. He stopped throwing a lot of punches. He was just looking for that one big shot here and there. And it allowed Andy Lee to pile up the rounds just by being more active, using that jab and landing more shots and just throwing more shots. Uh, Quillen did land the bigger, harder shots, I thought, for the most part. I thought he hurt Lee on more occasions, although Lee obviously did drop Quillen later on in the fight. But um, it was a close fight, you know. Obviously, Quillen got the two 10-8 rounds, and then Lee got a 10-8 round back. Um, going into the 12th round, I had it even, personally. And I thought that Quillen won the 12th round, so if I had to choose to give the fight to either guy, I would have had Quillen by one point. But obviously, um, I have no problems with the draw. Uh, after the fight, neither fighter, at least immediately after the fight, neither fighter had a problem with the decision, so if neither of them are going to complain about it, I'm not going to complain about it either. Not sure I would favor in a rematch, possibly Quillen, because it seems like um, if he would have thrown more or if he would have landed more of those big shots, he possibly could have got Annaly out of there, but you never know um, which guy would capitalize on the mistakes from the first fight. I think this fight is more likely to get a rematch than Peterson versus Garcia, but either way, it was a pretty solid fight overall even though there were some spots that not as much action took place, but in the, in the moments where it did, it was definitely uh, pretty entertaining. Anyways, that's it for now. One of you guys thoughts on this fight. Who did you have winning, Lee versus Quillen, or do you agree with the decision? And Peterson Garcia, who did you have winning, and why? And if they did have a rematch, who would you favor in that fight? That's it for now. Link to Twitter and Facebook, as always. Till next time, I'm out.